Have you ever wondered how some people manage to attract the attention of others so effortlessly? Or perhaps you've encountered challenges in understanding how to establish an authentic and meaningful connection with someone who truly matters to you. The answer may lie in Stoic philosophy. Yes, you heard that right. Stoic philosophy, a school of thought with roots in ancient Greece, offers powerful tools that go beyond simple surface reactions. Today we'll explore how Stoic principles of virtue, self-knowledge and self-mastery can transform not only how we attract others, but also how we establish more enriching and meaningful relationships. Ultimately, seduction is not just a game of attraction, it's an art of human connection. So, join us as we unravel the secrets that intertwine Stoic wisdom with the art of seduction. This will be a fascinating journey you won't want to miss. First principle, self-awareness. To start, if we intend to approach the art of seduction from a Stoic perspective, we cannot ignore the immense value of self-knowledge. Imagine for a moment that you find yourself in a room full of people and someone captures your attention. What would be your first reaction? If you know yourself well, you'll act in a way that reflects your true essence, which becomes extremely attractive. Self-knowledge is not a superficial matter. It goes beyond knowing just your likes and dislikes. It reaches the core of your desires, values and limitations. The Stoics, with their love for wisdom and life in harmony with nature, would consider this crucial. Knowing who you are allows you to live in harmony with your deepest nature, which not only makes you happy, but also makes you extremely attractive to others. Do not underestimate the power of authenticity. In the world of seduction, people can perceive when you are genuine and when you are acting according to a predefined script. And by knowing yourself, you become secure, and that security does not come from an inflated ego or a pose, but from a clear and honest recognition of what you can offer to others and what you expect in return. This form of self-awareness is not something achieved overnight. It is a journey that requires time, reflection and effort. You can keep a journal, meditate or simply have meaningful conversations with people who matter to you to deepen your own knowledge. The more you know yourself, the more attractive you become not because you have changed who you are, but because you are more authentic than ever. This is where lack of self-knowledge can become harmful, especially in the field of seduction. If you don't know yourself, you may end up seeking relationships for the wrong reasons, such as mere validation or fear of loneliness. These are not healthy foundations for a relationship and often lead to unhappy outcomes. So, if you're interested in mastering the art of seduction from a stoic perspective, Start by knowing yourself. This will not only improve your romantic relationships, but all areas of your life. You will be free to be who you really are, and that is the purest and most powerful form of human attraction. Second principle, self-confidence. Self-confidence is another essential pillar when it comes to seduction, especially from a stoic approach. The confidence we speak of is not a superficial projection or a mask we put on to impress others, it is a genuine feeling that emerges from deep self-knowledge and self-acceptance, something we have already discussed. Self-confidence means having faith in your abilities, your decisions, and most importantly, your worth as a human being. In the context of seduction, this confidence is palpable. Consider how you feel when you are in the presence of someone who exudes true confidence. It's not arrogance you feel, but rather a kind of aura that draws you in, an energy that makes you want to know that person more deeply. The Stoics teach that this confidence does not come from external conditions, such as physical appearance, social status, or wealth. Instead, it arises from living a life in accordance with virtues such as wisdom, courage, justice, and temperance. By embodying these values in your daily life, you gain unwavering confidence that is not affected by life's vicissitudes, that is true confidence, and it is immensely attractive. One of the most effective ways to develop this confidence is through continuous and mindful practice of self-analysis and reflection. The more you know yourself, the more secure you will feel in your actions and decisions, which in turn will cause you to behave in a way that attracts others to you. Confidence is also fueled by competence. Knowing that you can handle what life throws at you not only makes you feel more secure, but also projects an image of resilience and adaptability, qualities that many people find attractive. It is crucial to remember that true confidence is not infallibility. 
it does not mean you won't have moments of doubt or uncertainty. What it does mean is that even in those moments, you have the ability to not let those feelings dominate you. You are able to move through fear and doubt without being paralyzed. And that is something people will notice and value. In summary, self-confidence is a mixture of self-acceptance, competence, and a deep sense of your own worth. It is an attractive quality in any context, but in the realm of seduction, it is absolutely invaluable. From a Stoic perspective, it is also the logical consequence of living a life aligned with virtue. It is in itself a form of art, the art of knowing oneself, accepting oneself, and projecting the true self to the world in a way that invites others to do the same. Third principle, effective communication. Thirdly, effective communication is an art in itself, and in the context of seduction, it is an indispensable skill. But when we talk about communication from a stoic perspective, we are considering something beyond simply transmitting messages or articulating words eloquently. We are talking about the ability to connect on a deeper level, to listen as much as to speak, to understand and to be understood. The Stoics value clarity, honesty and simplicity in communication. In the act of seduction, this translates into authentic and meaningful interaction. It's not about games or manipulative tactics. It's about showing up as you are and allowing others to do the same. Because true seduction is not the act of deceiving or conquering someone, it's the act of inviting someone into a genuine connection. The Stoics also mention the power of being present, a vital skill in any form of communication. In today's fast-paced world, where distractions are omnipresent, simply being fully present in a conversation has become, in many cases, extremely attractive. Being present allows you to actively listen, pick up nuances in tone of voice or facial expression, and respond more authentically and thoughtfully. It creates a space for the conversation to flow and for both parties to feel seen and heard. The ability to ask open and meaningful questions is another facet of effective communication. You're not just asking to fill an uncomfortable silence, but asking designed to truly get to know the other person, questions that invite dialogue and reflection. Through conversation, you may find common ground or even interesting divergences that invite further discussion. This not only demonstrates that you care about what the other person has to say, but it can also open the door to a deeper connection. In summary, effective communication is essential in the art of seduction. From a stoic perspective, it's about authenticity, genuine connection, and full presence in the moment. It also includes non-verbal language, how you maintain eye contact, your body language, and even your tone of voice are channels that convey information about you. An open posture, firm yet friendly eye contact, and a clear, calm voice can be surprisingly effective in creating an atmosphere of trust and facilitating effective communication. Ultimately, communication is a two-way street. It's about both speaking and listening, expressing and receiving. In the act of seduction, it's the tool that allows you to reach the heart of the other person, both literally and figuratively. Communication is the bridge that builds between two souls, and how you build it can determine the quality and depth of the connection you establish in the end. From a stoic perspective, communicating effectively is doing so virtuously, with honesty, integrity, and with the genuine intention of contributing something meaningful to human dialogue. Fourth principle, empathy and understanding. Empathy and understanding are central qualities in any meaningful human relationship, and in the context of seduction, they are absolutely crucial. From a Stoic point of view, these qualities take on even deeper dimensions. The Stoics believed in living according to nature, and one of the most beautiful and complex parts of our human nature is our ability to feel and understand the emotions of others. Empathy goes beyond simply understanding someone's feelings. It's feeling with that person, like an emotional bridge that eliminates the isolation and loneliness that often separate us. When we show empathy towards someone, we engage in an incredibly powerful act that affirms our essential connection as human beings. Imagine the impact that can have in the context of a romantic relationship or a seductive connection. Empathy can be the spark that ignites a greater fire, the foundation on which a deeper connection can be built. In the contemporary world, where interactions are often superficial and primarily influenced by external image, genuine empathy emerges as a rare quality, capable of setting you apart. 
It's not simply about sympathy or compassion, but about establishing an authentic connection that springs from a deep understanding and sharing. This ability not only attracts but also captivates unequivocally, especially from a stoic perspective. Furthermore, understanding plays a vital role in this context. Stoic principles urge us to seek truth, to question our assumptions and to be open to change. In the art of seduction, understanding the other goes beyond first impressions and stereotypes, requiring dedication of time and energy to truly understand who the other person is, what their motivations, fears and passions are. This allows for genuine adaptation and meaningful responses. A stoic approach to empathy and understanding also aids in maintaining a certain serenity, avoiding falling into the trap of obsession or unhealthy attachment, allowing you to appreciate the present moment without becoming overly concerned about the future. By practicing empathy and understanding, we are cultivating a mutually enriching connection in which both parties benefit, becoming more attractive as they nurture their own emotional and intellectual lives. Ultimately, empathy and understanding are not just seduction strategies, but ways of being that enrich all aspects of our lives, turning us into better friends, partners and lovers. From a stoic perspective, they bring us closer to virtue, to a well-lived life, and ultimately to a more lasting and meaningful happiness. Fifth principle, mystery. As for mystery, it has always been a tool in the art of seduction, but in the context of stoicism, it takes on a deeper and more significant connotation. It's not just a game of hiding and seeking, but rather recognizing and respecting the inherent complexity and depth of the human condition. Stoic teachings encourage us not to assume anything, to question our assumptions, and to be open to life's surprises. When applied to relationships and seduction, fostering mystery doesn't mean being deliberately elusive or enigmatic, but rather recognizing that each individual is a unique universe of experiences, emotions, and thoughts. This respect for the intrinsic mystery of the other is itself a powerful form of seduction. Fostering mystery also involves cultivating a rich inner life, filled with passions, interests, and curiosities that make a person irresistibly attractive. Not because they are an enigma to be deciphered, but because they reflect the human capacity for wonder, awe, emotional depth, and intellectual complexity. In the game of seduction, true mystery isn't about knowing when to send the next text message or what to say to sound smart, but rather the intrigue that arises from authentically being who you are, ever evolving. Continuous practice of these principles not only enriches our personal interactions, but also leads us to a state of greater fulfillment and satisfaction in our lives. By integrating empathy, understanding and mystery into our approach to seduction and relationships, we not only become more attractive to others, but also cultivate a deeper and more meaningful existence. These are essential pillars for building authentic and enduring connections that transcend superficial games and lead to true intimacy and mutual understanding. Therefore, by applying these principles, we not only become more effective seducers, but also more compassionate, wise and complete human beings. From the Stoic perspective, cultivating mystery is not only a seduction strategy, but also a tool for maintaining a certain emotional distance and a fundamental perspective on life. This helps avoid falling into the trap of obsession or unhealthy attachment, allowing you to appreciate the present moment without becoming overly concerned about the future. In Stoic philosophy, which advocates for the acceptance of life's constant flow, mystery takes on a new meaning. It becomes a way to approach the world and people with an open mind and a willing heart. By applying this principle to seduction, you not only become more attractive to others, but also enrich your own existential journey, approaching the wisdom and virtue valued by Stoics. Sixth principle, detachment. The next principle, detachment, complements this perspective. Although the term detachment may seem cold and depersonalized, especially concerning relationships and seduction, in the context of Stoicism, it reveals itself as a liberating and empowering force. Detachment does not imply indifference, but rather liberation from the bonds of uncontrolled emotions and desires. It is recognizing that we only have control over our own minds and reactions, not external circumstances. In seduction, this translates to maintaining calm and authenticity, regardless of the other person's response. By practicing detachment, we free ourselves from the expectations and anxieties that often hinder genuine connection with others. 
This allows us to appreciate the other as a human being on their own path of growth and self-discovery, rather than putting them on a pedestal to validate our own ego. Thus, both cultivating mystery and detachment not only improve our seduction ability, but also promote a fuller and more meaningful life, aligned with stoic ideals of acceptance and virtue. By understanding and practicing these principles, we are able to transcend emotional traps and find true inner freedom. This stoic approach not only makes us more attractive to others, but also helps us develop deeper and more meaningful relationships based on authenticity and mutual respect. This perspective not only makes us more attractive in the eyes of others, but also establishes a space for a deeper and more meaningful connection. Seduction turns into a genuine exchange between two people who recognize and value the complexity and dignity inherent in each other. Conscious detachment enables us to live the moment more fully, enjoying the interaction for what it is, not what it could represent for our ego or future. Thus, seduction becomes a delicate dance with the present, an act of mutual appreciation that is lived but not possessed. Deeper and more rewarding connections often arise naturally. In the end, stoic detachment in the context of seduction is not a strategy to win love or admiration from someone. It is a practice to win ourselves, to find peace and wholeness in our own company. Paradoxically, it is this sense of personal fulfillment that makes us irresistibly attractive to others. Seventh Principle Emotional Intelligence In the seventh point, we explore emotional intelligence, a much sought after yet often misunderstood quality. It is a concept that has received much attention in recent years, and rightfully so. Emotional intelligence is the bridge that connects our own self-awareness with our understanding of others. In relationships, and indeed in all our human interactions, emotional intelligence is an immensely powerful tool. The Stoics teach us the importance of knowing and understanding our own emotions so that we can interact with the world more effectively. By being in tune with our own emotions, we are able to regulate them better, meaning we can maintain calm and balance even in emotionally charged situations. This is an extremely attractive skill in any kind of interpersonal relationship. However, emotional intelligence goes beyond understanding our own emotions. It is also about being highly aware and sensitive to the emotions of others. This involves truly listening, not just hearing, but picking up on non-verbal cues, the subtle details in tone of voice or body language that convey what words often cannot. It is in these details that true connection is established in a seductive interaction. And why is this particularly Stoic? Because Stoic philosophy teaches us to respond rather than react. It tells us that while we cannot control the emotions and actions of others, we can control our own responses. Emotional intelligence gives us the ability to respond appropriately, fairly, and seductively. It gives us the wisdom to know when to approach and when to keep our distance, when to speak and when to listen, when to reveal and when to maintain a bit of mystery. Emotional intelligence enables us to make the other person feel seen, heard, and understood, which is irresistible in a world where many of us feel misunderstood or neglected. It is not just a seduction tool, it is a means of connecting more deeply with others and ultimately with oneself. This ability to understand and emotionally connect with others not only makes us more attractive, but also fosters more genuine and satisfying relationships. By practicing emotional intelligence, we can create deeper and more meaningful bonds, enriching not only our social interactions, but also our own personal journey of growth and self-discovery. This emotional awareness empowers us to navigate the complexities of human relationships with empathy, authenticity and compassion, creating a solid foundation for lasting and meaningful connections. By cultivating emotional intelligence, we not only become more seductive, but also more complete and fulfilled human beings, capable of fully enjoying the emotional riches that life has to offer. Emotional intelligence provides us with the ability to engage in interactions that are meaningful, satisfying and truly connected. So, if you wish to embody seduction in its most genuine and authentic form, develop your emotional intelligence, learn to be present both for yourself and for others, and you will see how the doors of authentic connection and irresistible appeal open before you. Eighth Principle – Personal Attention Regarding the eighth point, personal care is a topic often overlooked but fundamental in the art of seduction. 
While it may seem that this topic is more related to ego or vanity, from the Stoic point of view, it is profoundly meaningful. Why? Because personal care is not just an act of self-indulgence, but rather an act of self-treatment and ultimately self-love. The Stoics instruct us that virtue arises from self-control and self-awareness, and part of this understanding involves knowing our own physical, emotional and spiritual needs. By taking care of yourself, you are establishing a space from which you can interact with the world in a more harmonious and effective way. As a proverb says, you cannot pour from an empty vessel. This phrase is a proverb that emphasizes the importance of taking care of yourself before being able to help or contribute to others. It suggests that just as it is not possible to pour liquid from an empty vessel, we cannot offer care, support or help to others if we do not take care of ourselves first. In short, it highlights the importance of self-care and personal well-being as a foundation for being able to give to others. In practical terms, this means that nutrition, exercise, hygiene and rest are not mere trivialities, but essential components of your overall well-being. When you feel good in your body, this well-being radiates outward, affecting how you present yourself and therefore how others perceive you. A well-cared-for body is not only more superficially attractive, but also becomes a more effective vehicle for your energy and intentions. However, let us not focus solely on the physical aspect of self-care. Personal care also involves taking time for reflection, cultivating the mind and spirit. This can translate into practices such as meditation, reflective reading, or simply taking a moment to breathe and rebalance during the day. When you feel internally balanced, you have much more to offer in any interaction, be it seductive or otherwise. This is an act of empowerment. Nothing is more seductive than someone who radiates a genuine sense of personal power, and the surest way to achieve it is through diligent personal care. Someone who takes care of themselves shows that they value their own existence, and this sense of self-worth is magnetic. In summary, personal care is a form of preparation for life, and in this context, for the game of seduction. If you can learn to see yourself as someone who deserves to be cared for and seduced, then it will be much more natural to convey that belief to others. You are not trying to convince someone of your worth. You are presenting your worth in a practically undeniable way. It is a way of saying, I respect myself enough to present myself in the best possible way. And by doing so, I invite you to see and respect me in the same way. It is a beautiful and authentic dance and one that is worth learning. Ninth Principle Respect and consent. Respect and consent are pillars that not only enrich emotional and social life, but are also fundamental in the art of seduction. Why? Because at the end of the day, seduction is not just about attracting someone. It is about creating a space of trust and reciprocity where both individuals can freely express themselves. In the age of personal empowerment and social awareness, the importance of mutual respect and consent in any interaction especially those of an intimate nature, cannot be underestimated. The Stoics teach us that our primary obligation is to live in accordance with nature, which includes recognizing and respecting the inherent dignity of other human beings. Respecting the space, boundaries and agency of the other person is crucial. This goes beyond simply avoiding doing something the other person does not want. It implies open and honest communication, asking, listening, and ensuring that any advances or gestures are well received. Consent is not a box to be checked once and forgotten. It's an ongoing dialogue. This is a practice that not only increases your chances of forming a meaningful connection, but also dissipates the fog of misunderstandings that often lead to negative or even traumatic experiences. Through the lens of Stoicism, this practice is not only ethical, but also a form of self-control and virtue. It's an expression of wisdom and justice, in which we recognize that the other individual is not a means to an end, but an end in themselves. Furthermore, by cultivating respect and consent, we are strengthening not only our interpersonal interactions, but also our own moral integrity. By practicing these principles, we not only become more attractive in the eyes of others, but also better, more ethical and compassionate people. Therefore, respect and consent are not just key elements in seduction, they are essential foundations for a fulfilling and meaningful life, aligned with stoic values of virtue and wisdom. In a culture that often views seduction as a game of power or transaction, 
respect and consent emerge as revolutionary acts. While there is a certain electricity in the uncertainty that often surrounds the early moments of attraction, this should never derive from a guessing game about boundaries and consent. The true mastery in the art of seduction lies in being able to navigate these exciting moments without losing sight of the shared humanity that makes us deserving of respect and dignity. Respect and consent also provide the opportunity for a deeper connection, finding the kind of intimacy that derives not only from physical attraction, but from the meeting of two minds and two souls. In this sense, you are not only practicing seduction, but also laying the groundwork for a more significant and enriching relationship, even if fleeting. Therefore, as you venture into the complex and exciting path that is the art of seduction, make respect and consent your faithful companions. Tenth principle, authentic connection. Authentic connection is the jewel in the crown of the art of seduction and can be considered the ultimate goal of the entire process. Beyond the superficial attraction of flirting and seduction games, what we truly desire at the core of our beings is a genuine connection with another person. Not just a meeting of gazes, but a meeting of souls. This is where the principles of Stoicism can truly illuminate our path. At the heart of Stoicism is the idea of living in accordance with our human nature, which means living in community and forming meaningful connections with others. In this philosophy, there is an emphasis on authenticity and personal integrity, which is crucial because in seduction and in life in general, it's easy to get lost in the masks we wear, the roles we play, and the images we project. But these masks are just external layers that conceal our true essence. And when it comes to forming an authentic connection, these layers must be removed. Connecting authentically means being brave in your vulnerability. It means showing not only your best version, but also your insecurities, your fears, your flaws. It's about being transparent in your intentions and desires. This can be scary, yes, but it's also what makes the connection so valuable. By being authentic, you give permission to the other to be authentic as well. And when both people are in this space of authenticity, the connection becomes transcendent. It's as if both are tuned into the same frequency, a place where words often fail to describe what is truly felt. Authentic connection is more than just physical attraction or temporary affinity. It's a meeting of minds, of hearts, of souls. When you experience this type of connection, you feel seen, understood, and accepted in your entirety. This also relates to the previous point about respect and consent. An authentic connection is one in which both parties respect each other mutually and are aware not only of the physical aspect, but also of the emotional and spiritual exploration that comes with it. From a Stoic point of view, authenticity and genuine connection are forms of virtue. They are the principles by which we live in harmony with the best of our human nature. In this space of authenticity and vulnerability, we find one of the most enriching and rewarding experiences of human life. Therefore, when practicing the art of seduction, remember that the goal is not to conquer or win something from another person, but to find common ground where both souls can dance. Because at the end of the day, what we all seek goes beyond passion and emotion. It's a connection that makes us feel alive, that allows us to experience our humanity and leads us to be authentic. Dear friend, this is the essence of the art of seduction in its highest form. As we reflect on this journey through the art of seduction, from the Stoic perspective, we discover that seduction is not just a game of attraction and rejection, but an opportunity to grow, to understand ourselves and others at a deeper level. Each point discussed today provides the tools to become not only better seducers, but also better versions of ourselves. From self-control and self-confidence to effective communication and emotional intelligence, all are vital skills for any aspect of our lives, not just for seduction. However, if there is something I wish you to take away from this dialogue, it is the importance of authentic connection. Behind all the fascination we feel for another person, what we truly desire is to be seen, understood, and accepted in our entirety. The wonder lies in practicing authenticity and vulnerability in our interactions. This not only brings us closer to others, but also cultivates a deeper and more loving relationship with ourselves. So why not take these principles with you and apply them in your life? Not only will you become more attractive to others, but you will also find that you are living a fuller, more meaningful life, 
in harmony with your deepest values. Additionally, I would like to emphasize the importance of practicing gratitude on your journey. Cultivating a sense of gratitude for the relationships and experiences that enrich our lives can amplify our authentic connection and lead us to a state of greater fulfillment and contentment. Remember that, in the great art of life just as in seduction, everything begins and ends with you. Before I bid you farewell, I want to remind you that if you are interested in delving deeper into Stoicism, I have left several links in the description for some wonderful books that have positively impacted my life and that I also believe you will appreciate. Be sure to check them out in the description and keep nurturing that powerful mind you have. Thank you very much for watching, and here are two equally good videos. Until next time.